Today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Pipes H-Bomb Catback Exhaust for 2015 to 2017 GT Mustangs. You're going to want to be checking this out if you're looking for a loud catback at a very budget friendly price. This catback costs about $500 and if you compare that to the price of other catbacks on the website, you'll see just how budget friendly that really is. Even though this does have that great price tag attached to it, you aren't skimping on quality here. This is made of 3 inch 409 stainless steel, so it's going to be a great option for those daily drivers out there that are worried about corrosion resistance. I am going to call it a full 5 out of 5 on the loudness meter. And this cap back ends in 4 inch polished stainless steel tips, but you do have an option of going with powder coated black tips as well. When it comes to the install, I'm going to call it a 2 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter, and of course, we'll go ahead and show you how it's installed now. For this install, we used a 3H drive impact gun, a 15mm socket, a 13mm socket, a small extension, and a cordless ratchet. Alright guys, we are going to drop our factory cap back as one big piece. We're going to start in the front here with a 15mm socket. We'll loosen these two clamps. One thing you guys might need is a flathead screwdriver to pry back these tabs a little bit, so just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead, loosen these clamps now, then move towards the back of the car. Next, we'll switch over to a 13 millimeter socket. What we're gonna do now is remove the bolts from the hangers. We're gonna leave the hangers clipped into the body and it's gonna hold the exhaust up for us still. But we're just gonna go ahead and get them unbolted. All right, there's a hanger in the back here too that's right back by the end of the muffler. We're gonna go ahead and unbolt that one as well. Alright, so we'll do the same thing on the other side then. At this point, you're ready to drop your factory cap back. You'll need a second set of hands to help you out. What I have here too is a rubber mallet and I'm going to use it to just knock my clamps loose a little bit. I'm going to let them go wherever they want to. They might stay here on your cap pipes, they might come off with a resonator, it doesn't really matter. So what you're going to want to do is start in the rear and you'll unclip the hangers from the body and then you'll be able to push back from the resonator and drop the cap back. Alright guys, so here's our factory cap back laid out next to the pipes cap back. If we take a look at the pipes cap back and break it down some, I will say that this is made of 409 stainless steel and it is a three inch system. Stainless steel is always going to be a great option for you guys out there that are worried about corrosion resistance, especially for daily drivers. The other thing to point out here is that since this is a full three inch system, pipes does give you two adapters so that you can bolt up to your factory cap pipes if you want to. That's how we're going to install this today, but you do also have the option of going with a full three inch setup if you want to. The next thing to look at is our mid pipe. Now obviously things are really different here with the pipe setup when you look at the factory setup too and you compare them together. So pipes does give you an H pipe here and that's going to help tone down some of the raspiness that you otherwise get with this system. So instead of a resonator, you actually have your two mufflers here. Now the only mufflers that you have in this system are right here in your mid pipe. These are the H bomb mufflers and they're really free flowing. 
you guys can see that you no longer have mufflers towards the end of the system anymore. So your H-bomb mufflers are sitting right here, and this is the only thing keeping this system from being a full straight pipe system. Basically what I'm saying here, guys, is that you can expect a really big change in sound with this cat back. Then you have your pipes that are gonna continue down to your tips. Now you do have two tip options. You can go with a powder coated black option or a polished stainless steel option, and they both are four inch tips. We will need to transfer over our hangers, and we also have to get the clamps and the adapters up front, and we're gonna go ahead and get this installed on our car. All right, guys, so we pulled our clamp off of our resonator. We're gonna get our clamp installed, followed by our adapter. And from here, we can grab our H-pipe. Before we get our H-pipe in place, one thing to say is you want to make sure that you have clamps ready to go. You guys can see I already have my clamps on the adapters. I also have a pull jack here too. It's going to help me get my H-pipe in place. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next piece. You guys can see that we transferred over our hanger from the factory exhaust, and I do have clamps already on the back of the H-pipe ready to go. So I'm just gonna slide this into the back of the H-pipe, and then I'm going to clip my hanger back into the body of the car, and I'll move on to the next pipe. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna start with clipping the hanger into the body of the car first. And I do have a bolt in hand. I'm gonna run one of these bolts in. Just to make sure everything stays in place. All right, and before you make the connection, just make sure you have a clamp in place. Go ahead, slide the clamp in place. And now we'll make our connection. All right, guys, we are gonna do the same thing on the other side. I am gonna grab a hanger bolt for here and just run it into place, just thread it in by hand just to make sure the hanger doesn't pop out. Once again, we'll slide our clamp into place. And now we'll clip our hanger into the body of the car and hand tighten a bolt into place just so this doesn't pop out. All right guys, now we're just gonna go through and tighten down all of our hanger bolts real quick. All right guys, so now we're gonna go through, make sure our exhaust is as straight as possible. We're gonna go through and tighten all of the clamps. And the exhaust will straighten out some as we're tightening as long as you hold it in the correct position. So we're gonna start at the very front here and tighten down these clamps. So now we'll just slide our tips into place. And make sure that they are straight, pointed upwards, and we'll take a 15 millimeter socket and we'll tighten them down. All right, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Slide our tip into place, make sure that it's straight.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind, you can always check this cat back out more online right here at AmericanMuscle.com.